Okay, so this is the uh, No Photon Left Behind tutorial on Fiji, um, which is uh, just ImageJ, as the name says here. But I've had people say to me, it's just ImageJ, so I might as well just use ImageJ. But it, it's not just ImageJ, it comes with some extras, so we recommend you use Fiji instead. So if you go to Fiji.sc, um, and you can go ahead and download. And what it comes with are these, these extra plugins that come all already pre-packed and it updates it for you and things like that and it's a new version of ImageJ in there Bioformats plugin um, and always other things that might be useful but we use the Bioformats often to open up microscopy files and you can download the files here and you can download it for your particular OS 64-32-bit um, you can also do the no Java runtime environment if you want to it's, it's easier to use the ones without with the Java built in, so 64 bit here would be the one I'd download for this machine. Um, let me know if you have questions on the Java options. And once you download that, um, I've already downloaded that, that part there, it takes a few minutes. It's a, it's a large ish file, it comes as a zip file which you have to unzip somewhere. And you can unzip this to uh, any folder you want and you run it straight from the folder. So I believe it's you. You can actually run these on the healthcare computers. You don't need to actually install it. You can just run the executable. Um, let me know if this is the case. It'd be interesting to hit, have your feedback on that. Um, and so on standard Windows, you right click and you do extract all. I'm not going to click that button because Windows takes forever to go through all of the tiny files in this zip. It's very inefficient. So what I recommend you do if you have got the option to install. So unfortunately not for healthcare people, but um, if you have, go to 7zip.org and download this um, um, zip compression extractor thing and that gives you the option to right click and have this extra menu to do the 7 zip and you can just do extract here and that will just take a few seconds and you can try for comparison how quick Windows does this and you'll be waiting for like 5 minutes even on a fast machine so if you've got the option you should go with it and, and then it will give you a folder fiji.app and inside this folder you can just go ahead and run the ImageJ <coughs> Win64 or whichever version you have and then you get the Fiji icon and and um, the first time it loads it sometimes takes a while um, and it will pop up the window and it will look just like ImageJ but it comes with additional additional plugins and additional um, options for the analysis and a few other different functions throughout these menus Okay, so that's the basics. Uh, give me a shout if you have questions on that, and we'll move forward to different image types uh, on the next one.